We'll start with a man who was at that press conference. He was standing just in front of Gillan McLaughlin. In fact, I think, Eddie McGuire, at the transition hub, you might only be a few rooms down. Welcome from Queensland. <laughs> Good on you, Sam. Yes, it was a big day, a huge day for Queensland football and uh, for the AFL. Uh, yesterday, I must admit, I was really sad when I contemplated the fact that we wouldn't have a grand final in Melbourne for the first time ever. You know, I, I joked at the time it was bad enough when we went out 91 to Waverley away from the MCG. But uh, today, it was uh, it was an interesting feeling to be up here and to just see this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for Queensland to grab this grand final. Uh, there were four, five criteria that they had to pass on. Capacity, finances, safety, legacy and venue. And my understanding is they got up on just about all of them except for venue, clearly uh, Optus Stadium and the Adelaide Oval, better venues than the Gabba. Uh, but this uh, Gabba is going to have 30,000, the safety aspect. But also I think the legacy is the key with the uh, with Brisbane and uh, the Queensland looking to maybe go for an Olympic Games. There's going to be a lot of sporting infrastructure built down the, in the future. And if football can position itself going forward to be a big part of that, then this will be a really big payday for the AFL for a long, long time to come. Yeah, legacy is a great word that you used, Eddie. Tony Cochran is the chairman of the Gold Coast Suns and he spoke about that on radio today. It's absolutely game-changing for footy in Queensland. We've been on this very quiet journey now since the end of May when I was working with the minister, Kate Jones, and we could just see an opportunity. We've just borrowed it for one year and we hope to hand it back bigger and better than ever. And we look forward to being a part of the crowd next year at the MCG for the 2021 Grand Final, which hopefully the Gold Coast Suns are featuring in. What an asset to the AFL Tony Cochran's turned out to be. I'm with you, Ed. I felt, I felt really emotional today watching that announcement, even though it was completely expected. Someone who didn't enjoy it so much was Mark McGowan, the Premier of WA. What we've said the whole way along to the AFL is you need to abide by our quarantine and safety conditions and, you know, we're not going to give you millions of dollars. They decide to go somewhere else. Western Australia obviously has the best stadium, the strongest AFL crowd and the most healthy and safe environment, but they went to Queensland for other reasons, obviously. So good luck to them. My number one priority is keeping people safe and getting jobs back in our economy, and AFL comes third. I thought that was a bit churlish, a bit of Alistair Clarkson about that post the Adelaide, Adelaide loss previous night. I mean, we all suspected this was going to be impossible. If Mark McGowan, doing the right thing by his people, wasn't prepared to lift the borders, how could you ask someone to go over and quarantine before a grand final? And now we learn today from Gillan McLaughlin, even a preliminary final is going to make things really difficult if West Coast do finish on that position of the ladder. I, if I was the AFL, I would be praying that Brisbane and Port Adelaide finish one and two, or Collingwood or Richmond or Geelong, so they don't have to make that tough decision, Matthew. Yeah. Well, okay, Kara, can I jump in there? I think there's going to be it's going to be even harder for them uh, unless uh, you know the uh, Premier. He's got a he's got some think music coming his way as well. If they can get uh, teams to be able to fly in and fly out, then they might be a chance to get home finals. But if they're expecting teams to lock down for seven days, it just won't happen. Hey, Eddie, won't when, when no will... Team will go. They won't happen. They're going to have to work out whether they can fly in and fly out, put them in isolation, do all those things. Clubs will be up for it. But uh, there's, I don't think you have teams going into hard lockdown for seven days during the middle of a final series. Well, when will this have to be decided by? So when will we find out uh, how many finals Port can have at home and how many finals the Eagles can have? Port can have as many finals as they... They, they win. If, if they, if they, uh, they'll have a final in week yeah. one if they finish where they are at the moment and they'll have a final, yeah. a preliminary final. I just want to touch on the historic nature of the actual game itself. It hasn't gone down too well with everyone, the fact that it's going to be playing at night. And the 3AW Breakfast show host, Ross Stevenson, who is a very close friend, good friend of Gillan McLaughlin, doesn't say much controversy, con controversial really, but this is what he said this morning, early after um, it was pretty much revealed it was going to be at night. But I think the AFL using the cover of a killer pandemic to introduce a night grand final that they've wanted for years, I think that's disgraceful. Unlike Ross to be so strong, and he's one of the voices of Melbourne. <laughs> um, well... <laughs> Seriously, I mean, look, I think Ross must have just been still uh, feeling the effects of Hawthorne getting beaten last night on that one, Caro. I mean, what can you expect? I mean, one, let's just have a think for a moment. If you're playing the game at the Gabba, the blinding sun would be absolutely... would ruin a grand final straight in the faces of people if you played in the middle of the afternoon. Two, it's going to be close to 30 degrees. Three, 
We have to get our heads around the idea if we want to have money for the players and continue that this is now all about the ratings because going into the future, it's going to be a situation where you're going to have people who are going to be looking at this who don't even know what a football looks like, i.e. Netflix, Amazon, etc. Ed, they ratings, play games ratings, at the Gabba. Have a look they, they play Ca games at the Gabba by at, day. Right. In the, they play them by day in August. It's, it's still pretty sunny in August as well. I actually don't agree that millions of people will watch the game, however many people watch the game, will watch it anyway, whether it's day or night. I, I can't agree with look that. At the, Caro, look, at, look at the figures here. This, there's a th reason why it's called prime time. And have a look at this. 2017, 2018, State of Origin goes past it because it's in prime time and goes past it again. Now, we're seeing more and more... It's still the in moment, the top three every year, Ed. Always in the top three. Doesn't matter. Three. It's got to be top one. It's got to be top one. Oh. There's no point being top three when it comes to ratings. And we're shooting ourselves in the foot. It's as simple as this. Why would you not want to get people in New South Wales and particularly in Brisbane and Queensland as many as possible to watch? It, the only reason we don't have a night grand final in the first place is we didn't have lights in 1896. It's ridiculous. We play every major game at night time. So this is this is it's cloud cuckoo land. I, I, I just I, I think you've got, you've got to pay some homage to tradition, down, Ed. Down, and how down. if if we how many traditions do we lose before we're a different tradition? game? Tradition? What are you talking about? I'm tradition? We we play Goal Friday night football, Thursday night football. The reason why the figures are up at the moment is because it's in prime time in clear air. It, it, it's a total. Well, they're also up because people are in danger. If we thrill to the people, they're also up because people can't go to games. Yeah, but in, in a normal year, if we threw it in Melbourne, the lead-in, you could have a tailgate, the way... I think the majority would say, give me a night grand no, final. No, no, most people want a day grand well, final. That's well, why the I'm AFL haven't done it in the You're past. You're three to one here, Caro. No, well, you yeah, might, but I'm telling you, the majority, the, the AFL have done guessing, the survey. Who have you, who've the you surveyed? Caro, you can't just have phone calls on three at Abbey as the survey. No, Everyone the used to say they were going to... They were going to pull the MCG down when we had a night, a Friday night game once upon a time. Now everyone wants to be on Friday night. It's totally ridiculous. I don't think we should just... I'm not saying... You've got to get the ratings, Caro. I'm not saying they don't have it at night this year. I'm just saying, let's not just let it go through to the keeper and not make a major comment about something historic that might not be for the best going forward. Historic. I'll leave it at that. Can you see, Sam, oh, I'll ask you this yes. question, can you see from next year onwards this opportunity of, I, I think it's going to be brilliant and I've been happy day but night, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see what's going to happen, that from this point on, the eyeballs uh, and the spectacle of it, that from this point on Afterwards, we'll keep it at night. Well, I think Gillan McLaughlin and Travis Old will see this as an opportunity to see yeah. what the reaction is to Eddie's point of what the ratings are mm. going to be. And they may stick with it. They may go back. They may go halfway to a Twilight Grand Final next year. I think everything's uh, up for grabs at the moment.